Hey guys, uh, Joe here. Um, we're going to talk about special records, and they're all pretty new. I think the, uh, the earliest one is uh, 2014. Actually, this is 2014. Uh, this is Elvis Showroom International. Um, it's a great album. I love the cover to it. you got to admit, it's a great cover. It's a record store day. Uh, it's the, the complete uh, August uh, the 12th dinner. You all know this anyway. 13 tracks, uh, 180 gram audiophile vinyl, and it's individually numbered. I think this is, num yeah, it's numbered right down at the bottom, right here. Uh, this one is numbered at 128. I didn't realize that uh, this was uh, such a low number. Okay, the next one is Elvis at Stacks. Came out in 2014. Another beautiful cover. Here's the back. This one is put out by uh, Newberry. Uh, I think it's Newberry Comics. And uh, you see, it's an exclusive half black, half gold vinyl 2LP. It's a limited edition of a thousand. Okay. Here's the uh, sticker right there, guys. So, the value of this actually is $70 because it's it's hard to get a hold of them. There's another one, too, that's uh, Elvis Presley from Newberry Comics, and uh, I missed it, and uh, I need to get it. The problem is people want a ridiculous amount of money for it. This is I'm Leaving. This is another record store day. Um, Record store day date is the 2016 exclusive edition. Okay. Now I got a hold of Michael Jarrett because Michael Jarrett is a friend of mine. And this is the email that he sent to me. And uh, Michael didn't even realize that they put it out. Nobody contacted him, which I, I think sucks. So uh, I hope uh, he did well with this. This is uh, worth $40. I don't have values on a lot of these. A lot of these aren't in uh, Presleyana 8 yet. This next one is A Boy from Tupelo, which I love the cover. Whoever thought of that cover, man, they need to get paid more money. This blue and the pink, absolutely gorgeous. And this one, if I remember, yeah, it's a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition uh, with a legend began. Uh, it's remastered, another, uh, lim it's a limited edition blue vinyl exclusive 12 by 12 poster all of these are still sealed i mean i got all this i've said it before i got all this music on cds why even open it but uh remember too that these are not uh I, mid because um you show me a record that you have and i guarantee you i can show you something wrong with it uh, i don't believe in i don't believe in men vg plus plus mint minus yeah Okay, this uh, was from 2016, I think. Yeah, 2016. It's uh, Elvis is back. This is another uh, Barnes & Noble. Yeah, here's the back. Everybody knows this record. This is an insane record. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this He did such a great job on this record. Uh, he came back, and he came back strong. Okay, this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition, limited edition blue vinyl, 180 gram. Uh, Freddy Music did this one. I don't know, Friday Music is very popular right now. I don't know. Uh, I don't see what people have a thing about it. I don't know. This one came out in 2018. Everybody knows this album as well. The King of the Ring. This is a double album. And let's see, it's another record store day. Um, it's the 50th anniversary, 2LP. Oh, this is the red vinyl numbered edition. So I don't know, did they actually number this where you could see it? Yeah, they did. Don't go by my memory. memory. It's right down here in gold. What's next? Let me see. Uh, this one is from 2018. Okay, he looks great on this. It's uh, where no one stands alone. 
Um, this was one that Graceland put out. Uh, it was put out in limited edition uh, pink vinyl. These go pretty quick uh, off of Graceland's site now. I know it's a limited edition, they say, but I've got a problem where they say limited edition and they don't say how much, how many of them were put out, you know. Okay, this next one's a Christmas one. Um, let me see, it's uh, the classic Christmas album. Uh, this one was put out, it's the limited edition, pressed on clear vinyl. Here's the front cover. Here's the sticker. Uh, here's the back. This next one was, uh, it's the same classic Christmas and it was put out by Walmart. Um, I, I don't see no big thing about it. I mean, they put it out and I knew down the road they were just going to release it anyway, so. I don't see what the exclusive or anything special about the Walmart exclusive classic. What's so great about it? This next one is uh, 2019. It's um, Elvis uh, International, Las Vegas, Elvis, August 26, 1969. An incredible cover. Incredible. Huh. Uh, it's weird about this one. Let me see. This one is... Uh, Pink and gold vinyl. This is another uh, Graceland one. Again, they sold out pretty click, uh, quick. Um, let me see. There's something special. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you. There's actually uh, two stickers on this one. One's over top of the other one. Does that make any value or anything like that? Absolutely not. I just think it's cool. Here's the back. Yeah. Beautiful record. Okay, let's do go up to the next year. This one is 2019. This is uh, the American Sound Studio, uh, another record show day. Um, let me see, is this a limited edition one too? It doesn't say anything about it. Great record. Uh, here's the back. Here is a nice one. This is uh, Good Times. Uh, this is another exclusive put out by Friday Music. There you go. Here's the back. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a Barnes & Noble. Yeah. Okay, the next one is Elvis Golden Records, came out in 2020. Um, it's another exclusive to Walmart. There you go. And everybody knows this record pretty down pat. Okay. And the last, but not least, 2020 uh, just came out uh, from Elvis in Nashville. Um, 50th anniversary 2LP set. Uh, this was another exclusive to Graceland. It's Aqua and Tangerine Final. There you go. Another beautiful record. There you go. Again, these uh, Graceland records uh, sell out fast. So if you want one, uh, get in fast and, and buy them quickly. All right, guys. Y'all take care.